All right. Um, got some chart requests in today. So I'm starting with uh, the WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. One of my favorite pastimes. Uh, going back to Ultimate Warrior, Iron Sheik, uh, Kamala. Uh, who else? I really like this. Uh, another one I think was NW. Well, no, it wasn't NW. It was another one with, I used to like, you know, Dusty Rhodes, Four Horsemen, you know, uh, of course, Jimmy Fly Snucker, um, Iron Sheik, all those old names. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, dating myself. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. But let's get to the charts. So on the weekly, we see that we are, we look very good here. We just have some, some consolidation right here uh, pretty much for the past um the past four or five weeks and we really have to see what's going on because uh right here right now we have this single fat pattern it didn't, it didn't break above um and right now i just want to see where it breaks out it just needs to break out the box i mean right this is this could take your money uh, this is a very hard thing to trade just i like to trade this but this i want to see where they they uh you know where, where they they break this thing out so you want to see the lows of uh, 2190 to pretty much um, hold. I think this one is pretty much the same thing, 2178. Uh, bearish MACD weekly is, MACD looks all right, but uh, I'll let it, you know, kind of get, chop its way through and then make a decision and then I'll, I'll get in. So I would look for the break above uh, this level. And that's just the way I trade, 25 and I would see the break below and kind of just let it just maul whoever wants to kind of play this area because we don't really want to do that. Uh, the next name is Mo. Um, Mo actually looks pretty good. So let me just to put a fib retracement on here and see what we got going on. Uh, yeah, if it could break these highs, if it could break the high of today um, and continue to the upside, it, it definitely looks good. It could come back uh, to this 37 level. Uh, this looks really good. Um, weekly, eh. again, it needs to get above this level for, but the, it's kind of flat for the MACD. Uh, we did have a nice cross, so it has, you know, gave you a higher low right here, and it's continued higher, continued higher. So you can see this uh, pretty much uh, kept higher, and then once it broke this uh, ascending triangle, it it went to the upside. So. If it again, if it breaks above and, and considering all things of today's action, this is pretty strong. But I would want to see it break above this uh, 3690 level. Um, you got low. Uh, <laughs> low looks uh, really good. A lot of volume today. A lot of volume today. So uh, you know, it's it's looking at um, average is five million, and this gave you 25 million. So let's look at the weekly. You can see that it's clearing some highs, so I'd be very cautious. I would kind of want to see break that break this down into like a 30 minute time frame and say, okay, if you're getting in on a breakup, you want to see this uh, 51.92 level to hold. Um, that would just be, you know, the break of this 30 minute opening range and then see how it goes from there. But a pullback to that point is fine, but we, don't, we want that to hold initially, especially you don't have to, if you have such a large range for this, because you have pretty much the open, let's put the low, low is 40, what, 49, the high is 54, so you have a 10% range. Uh, that's a big range for a day. So you don't want to give all that up. So you could kind of look on the intraday stuff or maybe even break it down to, uh, you know, let's see, that's the hourly. Let's see if we can get to like a 30 minute. Yeah, so you could use the 30 minute as well to kind of help yourself out. So just a break above this this high right here, this 54, but you don't want to give up everything. So maybe down to this 52 level would be something that would help you consider things. And uh, last but not least, uh, we got some questions on Solar City. Solar City uh, needs to hold this pivot right here. This retracement is not anything really dangerous, quite honestly. Um, that I see, but I want to make sure that it stays above that 10 moving average. The volume has decreased uh, to this downside, but we want to just see if it can hold. Because if it can bounce, it could do the same thing as Elon Musk's other company, which looks great tomorrow uh, for a break above this high, just on this pullback. Uh, yep, a pullback of around 4%. So 
this looked great to break above this high and continue to the upside on an engulfing pattern. So uh, kind of want to see if this can do that eventually. So we will wait and be patient um, and kind of go from there. So hopefully this helps. And uh, if again, if you have any chart requests or anything, you can always email me. You could put something on Twitter or something or, or uh, you know, stock twits or hotstockmarket.com. I'm on all areas and I'll get this out. So take care.